Okay. So I wanted to see what uh, you think about this. Actually, I'm lying about that. I don't care what you think <laughs> about this because those people that think otherwise are wrong. It's like, well, that's your opinion. You know, it's really the case these days. A lot of people are extremely confused. They confuse episteme, facts, with doxa, opinions. Um, a lot of people have commented recently on how expensive they think Fujifilm lenses are. And those people are full of the excrement that comes out of cows. They're full of it. Um, I don't know where the influx of it's come from. But every time that I've asked someone this question, like, you know, what's your basis of comparison? Compared to what? Well, you know, um, Fujifilm lenses are expensive. Compared to what, dummy? Well, I just, uh, you know, it's just, you know, they are. They're expensive. They're just kind of overpriced. Compared to what? <laughs> Let's take a comparison here. Now, I love me Nikon. I've got, well, in totality, I've got about 230 lenses, many of which are Nikon lenses. Um, a lot of Zeiss lenses, quite a few Voigtlanders, every Fuji uh, film lens made except for uh, the three current ones which I've no interest in owning but have used now here we have the exact same lens by Nikon and by Fuji the one is the 17 to 55 and over here we have the 16 to 55 they're both fixed aperture lenses at f2.8 um, now I hear that Nikon is now going to start outsourcing this to China it's made in Japan now I own two of these two of these lenses. I've highly recommended this lens. Um, it's actually my favorite lens on my uh, Nikon Nikon uh, D500. Um, it's the uh, 24 to 70 equivalent in a DX crop mode, 17 to 55. Over here we have the 16 to 55, basically the same focal range. Hmm, all metal here, uh, all plastic here. Hmm, yeah, which one is sharper? Actually, they're both rather sharp. The Fuji Sharper. Well, everything is definitely not about resolution. However, that's the only thing the, the modern uh, goofball lens buyer cares about because they're just not very intelligent about lenses. They just aren't. Um, it's kind of like asking a wino, like, what's his favorite wine? It's like, well, whatever's got is the most alcohol content in it. That's my favorite wine. You know, that cheap stuff they sell down at Walgreens, you know. <laughs> it comes in the cardboard box. It's like 20% alcohol. By the you know. Resolution is not everything. <laughs> There's, uh, well, people care about chromatic aberration, they care about vignetting. Those are important. Um, phase, bandwidth, color saturation, other things. Now, neither one of these have optical image stabilization. The reason for that is because the fixed aperture would require the uh, OIS, or image stabilization in the case of Nikon, the VR, for the lens to be significantly larger. That's actually why there's no VR in either one of these lenses. So they're both the same lens. Uh, now this lens new is $1,500. This lens new is $1,200. So this lens is $300 cheaper. It's also made in Japan. It's made a lot better. <laughs> it is made a lot better. A lot significantly better. Okay, let's be extremely realistic. I actually said a lot better. But we can get by with significantly. Where is this bullshit coming from again about Nike of uh, Fuji lenses being expensive? I keep seeing this crap roaming the internet. And uh, there's all these people that are saying that Fuji lenses are expensive. Where is this crap coming from? Is it coming from delusional minds? Is it coming from ignorance? Is it just coming from generic stupidity? Is it coming from, like, some sort of uh, anti-Fuji website? Where is this crap coming from? Where do people get this? Any Anytime I actually corner a person, it's like, you're too aggressive. It's like, no, just answer my damn question. Well, you know, I said Fuji lenses are expensive. Compared to what? Let's compare these two lenses. $1,500, $1,200. This lens was recently on sale for $1,000, so... About two weeks ago, this lens was $500 less than this lens. Plastic, metal. They're both made in Japan. However, Nikon is now outsourcing this lens to China. China! Ni hao, ma! Ni hao! Ni hao! Ni hao! So I say, oh, you can't put down China like that. Oh, can't I put down China like that? Production quality, quality control is superior in Japan. That's not to say that some junk hasn't rolled out of Japan. Very little, however... 
compared to China, which would you rather have? Someone that would rather commit uh, seppuku, that's a suicide by the way, you know, made in Japan, or uh, something made in a sweatshop in China. I don't know. Gee, maybe I have a certain bias towards crap made in Japan. Just call me a crazy asshole. I have this crazy notion that crap made by, you know, older people uh, that uh, are allowed to take a piss break if they want rather than like uh, sweat labor, sweatshop labor in China. I kind of have this strange addiction to superior stuff made in China. I mean, made in Japan, excuse me. <laughs> so, let me ask you again. Where is this crap coming from? The Fuji lenses are expensive. Oh, I bet Fuji is, Fuji film is going to love this video. They're probably going, dope! <laughs> Here is the 70 to 200 2.8 equivalent. This lens was recently on sale for $1,500. Right now it's back up to what, $1,599? It's a 50 to 140 f2.8. It does have optical image stabilization. This lens is the tits. It's metal. It's made in Japan. People, listen, I don't know who the hell some of you people, and I don't mean the people who are watching this video, but I mean some of these people. I mean, I don't know who the hell these people think they are, but when you corner them, you know, every I keep seeing this bullshit out there. Oh, Fuji lenses are expensive. They're over probably. Where the hell are you coming up with this crap? Where the hell are you coming up with it? It's bullshit. This lens is cheap. It's Japanese. It's made out of metal. I've repaired lenses now for two decades. I've made quite a few videos showing me taking lenses apart. Other people, there's even a repair channel. It's called FixYourCamera.com. It's FixYourCamera.org. It's a YouTube channel, and the guy's also got a website. He recently took a Fuji lens apart. I forget. He's, he's Slovakian. He's got a strange accent. I, Bosnian. I can't remember where the hell he's from. I mean, he told you that the inside of the Fuji lenses are extremely well made. He's like me. He's a, he actually makes a living doing it full time, taking lenses apart and fixing them. I know me lenses, you know? Some people's opinions are worth more than others. And those are opinions. It's like, who do you trust? The guy that's fixing lenses for 20 years and like owns more lenses than God? Yeah, that's an exaggeration, but you get what the hell I'm saying, damn it. Or you know the schmuck over here that owns six lenses and you know, I know lenses are expensive. I'm not putting someone down for owning six lenses. Wrong lens cap. You know, the schmuck over here that owns six lenses, and ah, these Fuji lenses are expensive, you know, I just, I just don't like Fuji. What, compared to what the hell? You know, what the hell, damn it? Compared to what? I want to know the answer to that. I keep asking people that when they say that stuff. You know, compared to what? Well, I know, I just, you know, it's, you know, you made a statement, either back it up or shut the hell up. That ought to be a quote. That ought to be a bumper sticker. Back it up or shut the hell up. You're too aggressive. You're too confrontational. I don't like you. Now I know why they call you the angry photographer. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> my, my little bunny rabbit over here is even crying. <laughs> Damn it. Nobody's got... Everybody is a weak-willed... They're like a... They're like a limp hot dog or something. What, what's, that, what's that saying? It's called like a soggy hot dog or something like that. It's a really old saying. Nobody says that anymore. I'm not that old. That actually saying is from like the 40s or something. We don't even say that in my generation. I think my generation is like, the word we've chosen now is douche. It's like, that person is a douche. You know? So what, 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 what do you think? You know, what do you think? Where do you think this notion is coming? It's not, I don't care what you think, but Fuji lenses are expensive or not. I just proved to you that they're not, damn it. Well, you know, I see this stuff everywhere. Where the hell are people coming up with this crap? You know? It's like all of a sudden I've started hearing crazy-ass people on LCD. LCD. <laughs> Excuse me, LCD. On LSD saying that they're seeing unicorns everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? You know? I was like, I see unicorns. Like, are you on LSD? You know? I want to ask some of these people, are you on LSD? You know, are you smoking crack? Where do you get this notion? See, whoa, one thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars, made in, out of plastic. Soon to be made in China. Next iteration, so I hear. I got two of these. Great lens. Metal, made in Japan. Sharper, better, better lens. Fifteen 
fifteen hundred, a thousand. Where, where, do, where, where do you think people are coming up with this crap? Fuji lenses are expensive. <laughs> All lenses are expensive. Don't tell me that Fuji lenses are expensive. Compared to, these are my three favorite words in photography when someone's talking about something. And you're like, eh, compared to what? Damn it. And I'm like, no, I just, I just, well, yeah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, where do people come up with this crap? <laughs> You're angry. You know, I know why they call you the angry photographer. <laughs> I'm gonna call my mommy and you. <laughs> People are like, that guy's crazy. Oh, it's not crazy. It's called sick of BS. I have an extremely low tolerance for bullcrap. That must make me crazy. You know? In the land of the blind, the guy with one eye is like a freak. All these blind people are like, yeah, you met Bob over there? Yeah, he's a freak, man. I mean, that guy can see shit. He doesn't even have a stick to, like, walk around, you know? I agree, Bob is a freak. You know, he doesn't even have a stick. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Hasta la vega.